Next, we've got A for Hall in the Opstal. That was a terrible red line that I just drew. In other words, a narrative essay. Okay, that red line is a bit better. So every story, it needs characters, place, time, and events. So you need to think of a plot line, a storyline for the structure of your narrative essay. You know, like events in a more chronological order. You can write it in past tense or even present tense. You can't do it in future tense, right? I mean, you haven't lived in the future. Look, I know you, you can, but that's like a whole sci-fi genre of essays. Look, this is Afrikaans, first edition of language. Maybe don't do that. Stick to one tense and follow the rules for the specific tense, okay? If your past tense is fire, you will fully editate, you understand your head and her, your her, ber, ar, far, you know, that whole thing. Sal to so, as to vas. Yeah, if that's your thing, do it. Or if your tien word is good, if you can write everything in present tense, your stompy is amazing, then by all means, my friend, do it. Now, make sure the following is in your essay. So, var, wat, wanneer, ukom, and v. So, all the question words. Where, what, when, why, and who. Answer those questions so we know exactly what's going on. And remember to follow your standard opstyle layout. So it always goes intro, body, and you would typically have three bodies. So one, two, three, each with distinct, succinct points. Maybe they can flow into each other. This is a narrative essay, but maybe three different events or three different parts to the story. And you end with your conk, your conclu conclusion just to tie things together. So yeah, this is first edition language, right? It doesn't need to be as heavy or as intense or, you know, marvelously structured as the way you would, uh, I assume you guys are doing English home language. So for an essay like this, let's just say you went to Disneyland, right? I'm just going to put DL there. So your introduction, you know, maybe you could say that you and your family have just flown into like Orlando, Florida and the VSR, the Verenigde Staten van Amerika. And yeah, you're just settling in at your hotel or all-inclusive resorts. And then in your body, so one, two, three, maybe you decide to go to like the various parks. You know, maybe one day you go to Epcot or you go to Universal Studios. Maybe something like that. Maybe you describe the food there as well, having a corn dog for the first time or a turkey leg. And three, you know, just meeting all the Disney characters and getting like autographs, you know, with Cinderella, whoever. And your conclusion, you know, like you've realized your childhood dreams, you're just reflecting a little bit, but you're also still in the present moment, you know, or you could be writing this in the past, but you're just walking it through with your reader and giving, you know, really solid, accurate details. Everything is flowing coherently. You're not just popping these random facts everywhere, but there needs to be some level of structure. And that is your Verhalender um, Opstel, your narrative essay. It is a slightly safer essay to write in Afrikaans. It's not marked as strictly the way a discursive or argumentative essay would be marked or descriptive. So yeah, uh, would recommend this one.